Is it too late or is it never too late to try? I feel like it's a both, a bit of both sometimes. I actually mentioned that, I said that in conversation with my wife. We're just talking about considering the state of the world and the state of things and the state of folk out there and what's going on. For me, looking out, seeing everything that's going out, being, or going on and being played out. Th things are getting worse and worse. Men and women are adding more and more labels to themselves and then making their self act as that label as more and more labels are introduced to pick sides on. The division is just growing and growing and growing. Not just in physical groups within society fighting, but within the individuals, the men and women, their psyches that are taking in this information and these labels and then building a psyche based around those labels and what they think those labels mean and how they think they should act, having assigned that label to themselves. All layers and layers and layers and layers built upon the true self that's been hidden so deep beneath inside men and women. It's been made to be so by design throughout our lives here. It's been going on since we since way before any of us were born. Im immorality to me, has to be what drives all of these systems at its root, at its core, its immorality. That is the root cause of all the problems I can see and feel. It's that immorality that's built into these systems that it then teaches itself to all those within those systems. All fractured and spread throughout different categories of the same system with different labels and different costumes and different language attached to each category. But driven by the same immorality, the immorality of false authority and control. Let's see a world that's divided by belief and by knowing. I look back at myself and I can't, I can hardly comprehend the first 39 years of my life and how Well, I very well can deeply comprehend how broken I was and how I acted and reacted because I was in a constant reactionary state due to all the toxins I was pumped full of due to vaccines, the fake petrochemical based medications, the mind altering medications of psychiatric drugs and all the false beliefs that I was indoctrinated with. Those all conspired and combined with the toxins I was consuming on a daily basis in food and drink that I thought was food and drink that now I know was not. More chemical-based poisons. Along with the addiction, that vice, that alcoholic addiction I had for 21 years did not help one bit. After I was able to stop it all, because I was forced to, took almost dying for me to wake up. Seems like that is how it is for way too many folk. 
and that is a shame and that's the shame of the immorality that all these systems are built on and these beliefs that some folk actually believe out there that these things that they're calling medicines are actually medicines because that's what the TV tells them to believe. That's what the schools taught them to believe. Uh, so they continue and perpetuate their own enslavement without realizing it. Their own mind control. They root and they cheer and they want force, force to be used on other folk for them to then in have to be injected with this mind control drug only because they don't realize that they're under mind control because they can't comprehend, they can't cognitively process what has happened to them because they have not taken the chance to look, to know anything. To know even anything within themselves, especially within themselves, to even define what their self is and what that means. And what their own thoughts and emotions mean and where they manifest from and where they come from. And how they're manifesting in a broken mind that has a broken perception, creating a broken view of reality. Because they are being They've been cut off for far too long from their actual heart-based intelligence consciousness. That conscious consciousness that is the heart, that is the link to the soul. To know one has a soul and, and to know to know the things one needs to know to nurture and care for life. That is the heart. There is no nature versus nurture. Nature is nurture and care and protection of that life. And that is the heart. The heart knows this. The soul knows this. And it does not need the language of the mind to communicate this to the mind. Yet the mind will try to put language to this feeling. And it won't be able to because of all the toxins in the metals that are in the brain. That have seeped through the blood brain barrier and are throughout causing this misfiring of sparks that then manifest as false thoughts and emotion that play in a constant continuous circus loop. So those feelings, those feelings to know that things are wrong and things to, and to know that things inside are wrong because things inside are so confused that you don't know yourself even and you have to go to an outside source, you think, to find out about yourself and what is a thought and what is energy. Well, everything is energy. We are all energy. There's some folk that live out there that live in this atomic universe of things with time and space as separate things, separate concepts that create this broken, fractured psyche inside. Because they don't realize that past, present, future is always the now. It's always right now or it's happened and it's gone. And the future isn't here yet. Yet we can make a better future together if we all realize in the now all the terrible that's happened in the past and deal with that terrible. The terrible that's inside us. That's waiting to be felt and reconciled with true care in line with natural law and the protection and care for life in morality in line with the law of the creator the law of nature not man's law so So some folk believe in those kind of realities that they're standing on a spinning ball, spinning around another ball, spinning and flying through space, the mind spinning, the psyche spinning. Mine used to, and then one day it stopped. It was the day the earth stood still for me, so to speak. Like it has so many, for so many others that have realized that it is not spinning 
It was our psyches that were spinning from all the programming and all the beliefs we were taught to believe in the pictures we were shown about the way we were told things were. To realize, no, we're standing very still here. This is very still. The ground beneath, unless there is a quake, of course, there is a lot of those nowadays. All those quakes, they sure do line up with the end times prophecies, along with the snow and the hail. Even knowing that this, a lot of this fake snow and fake hail is full of metal compounds and bacterias, though in some folks' eyes it's only snow. Other folks see fields of this stuff that is poisoning us in the ground in very solid, unnatural, frozen form that does not melt like normal snow. And some folks see that, and they also see this place we live in as still and electromagnetic in nature. The electromagnetic nature of nature in the form of a toroidal field, a torus, inside that torus, the hyperboloid, the hourglass. Then you realize time is nothing but a measurement tool. And you only get so much of it here yourself to experience whoever that self really is in there. That self that's in the heart that the mind has distracted from for who knows how long for some For me, I didn't realize until really sometime when I was 40. It took me until age 41 to bring the pieces of my psyche, my thought and emotion and logic in line with the heart, with nature, with natural law to know the creator, to know there is a creator and I am simply a creation within this creation, like the rest of the men and women out there, like the rest of the life out there. And that a lot of very, very horrible things have happened in all of our past. Yeah. It's okay. So, To me, I feel it's never too late. It's never too late because it cannot be as long as one has a heartbeat and one has the ability to process thought and emotion to most importantly feel the feelings of that heartbeat in that heart And be able to use that connection to that infinite energy inside that core, in the core of one's own Taurus field, that spot in the middle that connects to the, the soul, that divine spark that was there from birth, that was put there at conception and just had not been grown yet because it had been hidden. That's how I feel when I look back. That a very, very vital piece of myself was hidden from myself because of this false self that I was trapped in. This egoic self that I developed through the years of indoctrination in school and then throughout the rest of the years outside of school in a career and in what I thought was life and a reality that I looked at in a way that I now know to be totally, absolutely false. It was inverse, reverse, upside down and twisted all along the way and I just was too blind to see it. The one doesn't have to exist in the land of the blind forever. Once one knows that there is more, to hear that others have found that there is much more inside them and then 
by finding that within them, they then have the words to come back and say to you that you have much more inside you. You have that same spark of infinity. The divine masculine and feminine energy both intertwined into one energy that is manifested in one gender to represent either the male or the female. The choice then becomes, for me looking back, I realized I was in a state of animal man, trapped in mind, far from the nature and nurture knowledge of the heart, far from soul. I was animal man. I didn't even realize that there was spirit, a spirit or spiritual man another another level of development so to speak inside oneself spiritual man man or woman of course spiritual man can be easily still trapped in mind and then trapped in the mind in godhead mode with some understanding some knowing but still a lot of belief in mind because the heart has not been fully unlocked and intertwined with the mind. So either in a state of animal man where the heart is in constant fight or flight mode because of all the fear programming and fright and you have to pay to live here and everyone is a false authority over you and you have to look to them. No. But that's what keeps you in the state of animal man or woman fight or flight. It can keep you trapped out of the heart's nature, nurture, knowledge when it's trapped in fight or flight. And the mind drives that. If it is allowed to drive that, until it is recognized and stopped within oneself. That has to happen with detoxing oneself from the toxic food, the drink, the information, the toxic beliefs, the toxic labels. The individual man or woman is the only one that can do that for themselves. And it is an internal process. And it is work. And it does require real change in the real world. In this real physical world that we are all in. At this very moment, at the same time right now. Until some of us will not be. And more of us will be born into it. All going on at the same time as it has been. The past cannot be disregarded and thrown out. The past must be reconciled inside. The past must be those holes. The damage has to be healed for the individual man or woman at their spirit and soul level and and the physical level that's where it comes to a change in consumption of what one puts into one's body does one put one things in one's body that are natural that are based off of need or do you put things in your body that are unnatural, that are based off of want, off of addictions, off of habits, off of repeated patterns of cycles that keep playing out over and over that are harmful, that are waiting to be recognized as they do damage to oneself inside? Consider, consider these things, please, deeply.
I lived almost my whole life in a false world of belief. Living in a world of knowing is much different. The thing is, it's It's scary to know, to know the world you live in once you see it for what it is. And that's what keeps folk from looking at it and truly accepting it for what it is when they find it. Because it has been built on immorality for so long and it's been allowed to play out and perpetuate itself for so long that folk can't recognize it for what it is. Though I don't know how it started. I see the very real changes just in my lifetime. How the programming and the entertainment has only gotten worse and the entertainment is only there to keep one in a frame of mind to entertain. That's what it means to keep one in a frame of mind, a certain frame of mind or thought. The so-called culture is built off of that, that distraction, that distraction from oneself and creates false idols of worship everywhere outside oneself. Though you're not to worship yourself either, and you are especially not to worship the labels that you've attached to yourself if you live in that false egoic construct of mind, because that is so damaging to the soul. <coughs> I only say that because I realized how much damage I was doing to my own soul by attaching so many labels to myself, my false egoic self, and then living and playing and acting out those roles in the real world as just a role player, but not fully feeling the comprehension inside my conscious consciousness of my heart because it was cut off. So I acted especially in the role of soldier. Because in my heart, while I may have very well and what I did want was to help protect, what I my mind could not comprehend and realize was that it was that natural instinct of protection and care of the heart that was entering into a twisted system that only inverted and reversed that and turned it into enslavement and, and death to be a part of that system to perpetuate that same system, the system itself of harm, of immorality, of not Truly knowing and feeling what's right and wrong and acting on that. No, it was acting on beliefs in that system of beliefs, which is all of the systems of belief. They all work together and conspire in the same manner. And they're all built on the same false exchange of energy currency, which is currency, that current is not the energy of your life's current of where you want to direct your electromagnetic flow of energy through your body, mind, your muscles, your heart, and into action in the real world to care and protect life in a way of knowing that very real energy is being used and manipulated and bought and sold with fake currency in those systems of immorality that then get folk to exchange their very real life energy, their current of their own energy to direct it into this physical world and cause harm.
Stop making and producing the toxic food and drinks, the petrochemical food and drink, the petrochemical food and drink and medicine, the fake medicine, the vaccines, the, the chemical compounds that are all designed to cause cascading health defects in the body and mind of those that take these drugs. Stop the toxic programming being produced, put out to mind control, to entertain, to enter and entrain the mind of the folks out in the public, the men and women, to make them perpetuate these false beliefs and keep them locked outside themselves. It has to be stopped. One can always choose to turn it off. That's what I did because before I did, I was mesmerized by it because I was mesmerized by it as a child. And I didn't realize it kept me in that childish state of mind because that's what it's there for. It was to keep me in a state of belief and disbelief. Either it did not care, it was as long as I did not know. And I blindly pick sides. I stopped doing that a couple of years back. In my health, both physical, mental, spiritual, and soul itself has only exponentially increased over time with very real change and work of my own. And this, this in and of itself, sitting here and talking and trying to get this message across is part of that work that I continue to do. Because part of that work is to share Share the knowing that that work is there to be done. Because had I heard someone tell me that sooner in life, maybe I would have started sooner in life. I would have hoped I would have. But I cannot say now because I realize how insane I was in my past. I may very well have disregarded what I heard. I most likely did at multiple points and cannot recall because I cannot recall most of that fractured life of living in that fractured psyche. When I thought there was all these different dimensions and I was only because I was trapped in all these different crazy dimensions of thought and time and space and not knowing these things and different concepts for myself inside and to pull myself Pull myself together and slow down and stop for a moment to realize that there is much more to be considered much deeply. And it could only be done inside. The answers weren't out there. And that's all I'd like to share. So thank you for listening. <clears throat> My mouth is a little bit dry. <clears throat> anyway, please feel free to share. It could help someone.